Here on the town square of our national life, we dedicate the United States Holocaust Museum and so bind one of the darkest lessons in history to the hopeful soul of America. The Holocaust Museum had a huge impact on me. What was bothering me were really the photographs of police officers working along with the soldiers, implementing this whole atrocity. We first put this together for police recruits. The feedback I got was absolutely incredible. We had real discussions around issues of race, about bias, the importance of protecting constitutional rights. I think we have something here that is unique, that uh, is effective, and that will really, over time, change policing and change other professions as well. I got involved with the museum in 2001 as a teacher fellow. The need grew across the nation for more educators. The museum decided to create the Regional Education Corps. If you take the Regional Corps and how many teachers that we can motivate, you have an unbelievable potential there. What you're trying to do is to have students think about the choices that they're making in their lives and how they affect other people. That in turn can affect being human beings and, and humanity. Young people are the change agents in every society. They have a huge potential to shape our future. Being on a college campus, you really actually can get things done and I've been waiting 18 years to have that ability. Perpetrators always count upon indifference. They assume people will be silent, and for the most part, people are. You have to be able to get people to step in and say, no, we're not gonna let this happen, and to stop that sort of domino effect. I'm a big, big believer that people are basically good. Once you get them involved, then they really produce wonders. 